Hi students, this is Dr. Aarti, Associate Professor, Department of Business Administration, Avinash Lingam Institute for Home Science and Higher Education for Women. In the long drawn journey of learning this module, we are bringing a scintillating interview with a successful business personality. More than theoretical expression to gain subject knowledge, practical exposure is much more important to add to our knowledge repository. This interview will be loaded with information related to different types of supply chains in e-commerce business and the challenges of managing supply chains for effective business operations in e-commerce platform. May I have the pleasure of introducing Mr. S. Rajarajan, a person with great conviction and commitment to sustain a business venture during the period of disruption in digital platform. Rajarajan is the CEO of Boston Creative Company, Managing Director of R.BCC Exports Private Limited, he has completed his B.Tech. He started his career as a software engineer and has traveled to United States to work with IT majors like Cognizant and Infosys. As a Kronos workforce management expert, his 10-year IT career involved working with clients like Nike, Staples and TJ Maxx. Even though he was involved full-time in the IT world, he always inspired to become a successful entrepreneur one day. His dream came true. In 2014, he started his e-commerce startup company all by his own research efforts. The company has now reached million dollar revenue and is showing tremendous growth. His e-commerce company is based out of United States, Europe, Germany, Canada and India selling more than 500 products worldwide. Also he owns a couple of food business named Burmi Food with six outlets and preschool named Siksha Juniors and a toy manufacturing company named Fun Toy Stick. He is one of the top suppliers for Amazon from India. He has featured in New York Times, USA, Economic Times, The Hindu, etc. Let me introduce Dr. Yu Zerinabi, an eminent academician with more than four decades of teaching experience and excelling still in different capabilities to the development of the nation by molding young minds. She is the Professor and Dean, School of Commerce and Management, as well as the advisor of Avinash Lingam Innovation and Incubation Center. Her research interest includes microfinance, international finance, agriculture finance, and behavioral finance. We have Dr. P. Chitramani, Professor, Department of Business Administration, and the MOOC coordinator, as well as we have Dr. Vijaya joining this uh, interview uh, panel. Let me take you to the interview now. Ma'am, over to you. You have a wide range of experience in marketing your products in Amazon and other e-commerce sites. Can you provide insights on supply chain management in e-commerce? Thanks, Adi, ma'am. Thanks, Ajit, ma'am. Sure. Actually, in the current e-commerce world, there are different types of uh, supply chain management is happening right now. So one is drop shipping and the second one is a conventional model that is manufacturer to retailer or manufacturer to retailer to distributor to retailer. The current trending one is called as a drop shipping. It's very good because they don't maintain any inventory system in their place. For example, so I'm selling product, I'm manufacturing a product called A and you are you are selling on e-commerce platform and you don't maintain any stocks what you do is you just display in the e-commerce platforms say that i sell these many products into website a and whenever you get the orders you directly send the orders to me i will supply the products to the customers so in this model this drop shipping model there is no inventory management for the people who is managing that website so the other disadvantages of the drop shipping model is if i am running out of stock the manufacturer running out of stock and you display the product is available and the customer is ordering that product and you will be ending up you know placing the order to me because i don't have a stock the manufacturer doesn't have a stock and you already received the order and the customer dissatisfaction will be high so the convent the, the other method is like distributor versus the retailers this conventional model is still goes good again we have the same you know issues something like the inventory management between the manufacturers versus the retailer but it has an advantage they have they will be connected together and they will be keep getting the updates from the manufacturer to retailers every days or their systems will be synced so these are the two types 
everybody are using uh, for the supply chain management purpose the solution uh, for this drop shipping model and uh, the conventional model there are a lot of tools that are available currently in the market that is called as Oberlow and uh, these kind of systems which would help you to sync the manufacturers inventory versus uh, the retailers inventory or whoever is doing the drop shipping model they are can they are you know managing the inventory system as a centralized so if you own an e-commerce platform and you are selling into three marketplaces let's say you are selling in amazon as well as you are selling on ebay and you are selling on your own websites so for an instance if the customer is there are a lot of customers who is buying the products from you you are a drop shipper and you are getting the orders are getting from these three websites it might vary the product a might go well in amazon and product b might go well in ebay and product c might go well in uh, your website so these the the person cannot manage all the inventories and they cannot monitor the systems every day so what they do is they connect with the centralized system it's called as there are a lot of so, third party softwares are available it's one of the best thing is called as now uber low so what they do is they connect all your platforms wherever you are selling it so you just connect to the centralized software and which also connects to the manufacturer's centralized inventory so wherever you get the products are sold out and you will automatically the system will alert you when you have to get the supplies from the customers so supplies from the manufacturers so it will there are additional systems which allow you to automatically place the uh, orders to the manufacturers so and so date and will automatically project you how many inventories are you required during this season and also it predicts the future also so the the current uh, supply chain management softwares are you know capable of predicting your inventory systems well in advance for example um, if you are in month of october okay so it will automatically check what are the products have sold during that christmas season and it will automatically alert you what what are the things you have to order it from the manufacturer and how many things how many products are available in the manufacturer's website so it will automatically alert you so when you have to order reorder the things again let me explain about advantages and disadvantages of drop shipping methods so the drop shipping method advantages are you don't want to maintain any inventory so you don't have any dead stocks in your uh, you know system as well as because the lost of lot of retailers fail because of the dead stocks even if you have if you are selling 10 products seven products might go well and three products may not go well so these three products stocks would take the seven products profit so this is the major disadvantage in the retail system so this drop shipping method so the the seller does not want to maintain any inventory on his own so because he is connected with the manufacturer so he is directly getting the products from the manufacturer and he is directly shipping to the customers so he don't want to maintain anything on his own the second thing is the disadvantage what i see from this drop shipping model is when the manufacturer running out of stock he does not have an intimate that we are running out of stock so but still he he sells he pro, he advertises his products on his platforms let's say amazon or wherever and the people are buying it and whenever when he try to place the order to the manufacturer and the manufacturer says i don't have any products in stock so this would give you the more you know customer dissatisfaction rate and lot of other issues because the sales rank might go down technically speaking if you are not selling any products more than 3 days or if your inventory is zero for more than 3 days your sales rank will go down so the customers will not be coming to your uh, you know site for any more so the bouncing rate and lot of technical stuffs are there so this is the main disadvantage for you know uh, the drop shipping model the other disadvantage is for example if the if the manufacturer discontinue the product or he is selling the different sizes or different colors and if he is not updated with his current system then again it's a problem so these are the disadvantages and advantages in the drop shipping model but lot of you know the new e-commerce sellers are preferring this drop shipping model because they don't want to maintain any stocks or they don't want to invest any money on in top of everything so so this is the you know best thing is this is a current method currently going on um, the e-commerce platforms and the regular conventional model is uh, 
uh, it's like you 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 are ordering some you are ordering 100 units from the manufacturer and you are keeping it with you and you are you are advertising the product to the multiple uh, marketplaces let's say amazon ebay and your own websites so uh, you 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 ship the products whenever you get an order from these websites and when you sending the products to the customers the disadvantages of the conventional model might be uh, what it happens is for example you are selling in platform a b c and platform a suddenly picks up and it's in, in amazon you are selling 50 units a day okay so you don't you don't have any idea how much i have to stock it again for example if, if my entire inventory goes within a two days i have to order it again from the manufacturer and the manufacturer might say i need at least five to six days to supply you so and if you take another six days to give it back and you have to give it to the customers again the same uh, you know the the customer dissatisfaction might go here and there and the the second time ordering he is ordering let's say okay i ran out of stock within two days so let me order thousand units and i will keep it in stock and worst case scenario the sales is not picking up or you know so the the season might be over by that time so in that case uh, he have a thousand stocks but he is not able to sell thousand units in a month so he might have a dead stocks around 800 900 units and you know so they did assets assume that is a one product if he has a 500 600 products so this model you know so that's what the most of the people are preferring the drop shipping method rather than the conventional um, supplying uh, you know conventional stock keeping methods dear students you have got greater inputs from mr rajarajan who had spoken about the different types of supply chains like drop shipping regular channels as like any other business thank you students let's meet again